So has anyone ever grown up watching the original 1980s TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then on to the 90s watched the original two movies of the Ninja Turtles? If you have, raise your hand. For those of you who don't know, a new live-action Ninja Turtles uh, TMNT movie film has been in development, and Michael Bay is attached to the project. Now, I've known about this for quite some time, but it wasn't until this recent article published today, Michael Bay responds to all the people who are raging, who are upset, that he is attached to the project of TMNT. I think it's fairly obvious as to why TMNT fans are so upset about Michael Bay being attached to the project. After all, Michael Bay did direct Transformers 1, 2, 3, and kind of ruined our childhood memories to what Transformers was really about. If you think that's true, raise your hand. So yeah, Team NT fans are outraged that Michael Bay is attached to the project. However, as of late March 20th, 2012, he released a statement telling Team NT fans to chill. C-H-I-L-L. -L. Fans need to take a breath and chill. They have not read the script. Our team is working closely with one of the original creators of Ninja Turtles to help expand and give a more complex backstory. Relax. We're, we are including everything that made you become fans in the first place. We're just building a richer world. From Michael Bay himself. My response to his statement is I'll chill when Michael Bay gets his name off the project, which is probably not going to happen. This is what I think they should do. They should cast the character, the Shredder, from TMNT as an actual paper shredder and then destroy the script of the movie that's being made. What do you think? When Michael Bay says he wants to build a richer world, I assume that he means to put a hot chick in the movie with no acting experience, but most of all, hardly wearing any clothes. And instead of a story of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it would be a romantic love story between April O'Neil and Casey Jones. You know what, Michael Bay? I admit, I haven't read your script, no one's read your script for the TMNT movie yet. But I can tell you one thing, probably two-thirds of your script says EXPLOSION! 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 And then the story of TMNT would probably start out something like this. Before the planet of Tertonia was destroyed by the Shredarians, they managed to send four infant Baby turtles in escape pods to the planet called Earth. Do you get my Transformers trailer reference? Michael Bay, the only thing you are capable of doing is destroying my childhood one film or one movie or three movies at a time. You've done it once, you're gonna do it again. And you know what else Michael Bay will probably do? He'll probably hire Vanilla Ice to make a new ninja rap song. And if you've seen the second Ninja Turtle movies, you'll understand my reference. Go Ninja! Go Ninja! Go! Go Ninja! Go Ninja! Go! That, or he'll hire Ice Cube, which would be even worse. But my other problem with Michael Bay being attached to the TMNT movie is that I can see the humor from the... If you can call it humor, I can see the humor from Transformers coming right over to Ninja Turtles. And quite frankly, the humor in Transformers 1, 2, and 3 was terrible. It sucked. It was bad. And by all means, the Ninja Turtles are funny. And this movie, if it's attached, if it's made by him, which it's looking like it is, is going to suck. S-U-K. I mean, it's one thing to ruin the entire Transformers franchise, but it's quite another to ruin one of my favorite, and I haven't really told you guys this, favorite comic book characters known as the Ninja Turtles. I like the Ninja Turtles. I grew up on the Ninja Turtles more than I did with Transformers. Down below in the description, I have an article written by someone on his blog, and he gives an in-depth reason to why he is not going to chill that Michael Bay is attached to this project. Not only that, but Michael Bay has already kind of redefined the Ninja Turtles by claiming that the Ninja Turtles are known as aliens in his new movie, Aliens. Their origin as aliens. But in all honesty, I am quite afraid 
of what's going to happen to this film franchise of TMNT. Because the last animated TMNT movie I thought was great, and now that Michael Bay is attached to a live-action Ninja Turtles, all I could really see is exploding pizzas throughout the entire movie. I really do not want Michael Bay tampering with the backstory of the Ninja Turtles. Leave the backstory as it is. Don't change it. Don't complex it. Don't polish it. Keep the story to the original concept, to the original design, to the original writing, the original standard, to the comic book standard. Don't change it. I mean, how is changing the original backstory of comic book characters such as the te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles going to turn out? I mean, look at Indiana Jones 4, for example. But the most funniest thing of all is that Michael Bay says a complex, a complex backstory. Is he even capable of making a complex backstory? No. It's kind of like making the character Iron Man in the Marvel Universe a alien genius. It's kind of like making Bruce Wayne's story saying that his parents never died. It's like Captain America having a sword and never a shield. It's like Superman loves kryptonite. It's like Thor in the Marvel Universe who isn't God. It's like making the character Wonder Woman into Wonder Man. It's like making Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles into Teenage Alien Turtles. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, this kind of sums up my opinion of Michael Bay. Let me know what you think. Happy? Sad? Scared? Terrified? Disappointed? I'm all of those things regarding the new TMNT film. Post your comments in below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Solzbach. Peace the rep out.